What's your age? 27. 29. How long have you been together? About seven months. Yes. If he were to propose to you, what's the most he should spend on a wedding ring? I wouldn't want him. Can I take a uh, class, class week? Oh, yeah, go ahead. You, you mind if I take the mic? But can I just tell you, I don't want you to spend a certain... Oh, not, that's not what I was going to say, babe. Okay. She's already showed me her dream ring. Dude, three grand. Even if it was 10, 20, I'd buy it. But this girl is so, I want to say humble. I don't like the word low maintenance. She's very humble. And she's not hard to please. She's not materialistic. It's funny, we actually were looking at the ring earlier today. Three grand, bro. Why not shoot for the mood? I mean, the man is telling you right now if it's 20, 25, he's willing to put himself in debt to get there. A ring, it's nice, but a ring is just a symbol. Personally, I don't like diamonds. I like gemstones, and they happen to be a lot cheaper than diamonds. He could spend like $200, like go to the pawn shop. I don't care. So it's, you don't matter if it's pre-owned? No, absolutely not. What's your age? When you find a woman like that, make sure you keep her happy. Make sure you keep her happy because she know the bigger picture. It's not about the materialistic thing. It's about what's here. I love that for him. I love that for her too because he love her. That warms my heart. To be quite honest with you, yo, my ring didn't cost that much neither. My ring don't have diamonds on it. The ring that I got for my wife does not have diamonds on it, dog. It's literally, I think it's her birthstone. Of course, the band is gold, you know what I'm saying? It's like white gold or something like that. But the actual rock was her birthstone. That's what she wanted. Get you a woman that have that same mentality. Y'all will be able to build together. Get me out of Jamaica because this said they don't eat. And his lady don't respect her. If you want him to eat. Ziggy Marley, this why you paddling alone, paddling alone, paddling alone, cause you're not eating. You rather stay here to eat? Why then you don't want a green card? Eat some and get a green card. Eat some see you a millionaire. Eat some. The fact that you went to Jamaica and was saying that out loud to them grown ass men out there, knowing how they feel about Yami Napoom, you lucky because it's some Jamaican men that would have came across your face for, for even insinuating that. The rules of engagement in America and in these other countries are different. Don't go out there insulting people in their culture. Yard mind them don't yam the poem. Bitches be saying, I can cook, I can cook, get you a wife who can cook. Whole time it's just fettuccine, Alfredo, and salmon. Get you a me, literally cooking chicken and rice. You hoes wish you were me. Like, literally, look at that. Okay, her, her. The chicken don't got no color. The chicken don't got no color. Oh my god. Why she why she even put that on the internet? Why she put that on the internet? Why she put Why she put that on the internet? Ah. Oh my god, she tried to poison somebody. I can't believe she put that on the internet, so that's crazy. Then she had the audacity to say, get you a me. Get you a me. I'm going to be a totally 110%. I think I didn't find my husband yet because all the women expectations is really having the men go into a hole. Because who the hell is y'all to say y'all want a man that makes 500000 a year? They hide because of y'all unrealistic ass expectations. Send me some eyes. They got enough to make sure that I got lights on, water running, I'm smiling and we eating. Y'all asking for the most, y'all, that's why we ain't got nobody yet, because y'all scaring them into a damn hole. Please, separate me from everybody else. Husband, come find me. You ain't got to make 500 for me. I'm, you can make $500. If you can make that shit work all year and I'm eating, I'm good. $500 a year is crazy, but I get what you're trying to say. It's social media, man. Social media got people brainwashed. Social media got everybody thinking they should be living like celebrities. And that's not the case. I'm not going to lie, though. Times right now is very expensive. Making $100,000 is not the same. But five hundred k What would you do to keep a man that make five hundred k How would you pique his interest? What are you going to add to that man's life?
Yo, I got catfished and I didn't know what to do, so I just went along with the date. She wanted a seafood boil, but I didn't know what that was. So she said, let's just go to Golden Corral. And then after that, we went to Crumble Cookie. Um, she said she never... Oh, bro. Crumble Cookie is fire. I had Crumble Cookie two months ago for the first time. Delicious. I had it before and she was happy. Um, they don't have Crumble in the hood, so this was her first time trying it. And she liked it, so um, after that, we went roller skating. I thought it would be fun because I haven't went in like a long time. And I had fun besides her taking breaks because her legs hurt. But besides that, it was cool. After that, I had to take her back to the spot. And she didn't want to leave until she got hungry. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know how y'all fellas feel about this, but I sense some bitch assness in this whole situation because it looks as though they really had fun. So the fact that you made this vid, mm. let's finish. Again, and then I took her to McDonald's because I had already spent like sixty dollars on her, and then it got late, so you know I took her home, and she said she had a good night. Oh, she had the, the like cheeks out. Like All right. How are we feeling about this video right now? Because I sense a false narrative. First, I don't understand why she'd wear that pink wig to the date. But at the same time, you pull up, you see her, she look like a catfish. You recorded the date. It looks as though you guys are having fun. And then you come back and expose her on the internet like this. If you wasn't feeling the situation, you could have stopped it from jump. I don't like this at all. Nah, mm-mm. I'm calling cat. I feel as though you had fun. You might have got the cheeks. You probably tried to get the cheeks again. You didn't get the response that you liked. So now you came out and did this on the internet. That's how. That's what I'm calling, bro. Something happened that got you in your feelings and you try to spin the whole narrative. You call this twerking, but it was originally known as mapuka, which quite literally means the same thing. Mapuka, or twerking, has the power to remove stagnant blood from the uterus and even fibroid cysts. Not only that, but it empowers your womb space and increases circulation to your sacral chakra, okay? So this is how we gain more creativity. So if ever you're dealing with low self-esteem, creative block, or womb trauma, I encourage you to practice Mapuka. You're welcome, and I love you. Damn. Yeah. That was interesting. That was very informative. That was very informative. Um, ladies, you should practice mapuka. Preferably for your husband. It could be an aphrodisiac that could lead into something else. And it got health benefits. Don't forget that. It got health benefits, too. Jesus Christ. Boy, that, that thing was moving. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right.